Near Protocol is in the spotlight today. We can see we're up 9% over here, guys, looking pretty juicy. So let's talk about it. Let's give Near Protocol some love today, as I believe, you know, it's ranked 25, and it's just so underrated at the moment. So what's going on with it? We're getting a 13% increase in trade volume, $3.2 billion market capitalization. We can see we're up against Bitcoin by 5.77% today. So it's looking rather bullish. The last day has been very good for Near. We're back into that $4 price range. Looking over the last three months, it's been quite choppy, but there has been lots of lucrative opportunity here, of course, taking advantage of those high fear, extreme fear market sentiments. So let's have a look at near today, guys. If you're new to the channel, do slap that subscribe button. I will be sticking around through the entire bear market. So we can see Bitcoin hovering around that 20.4K level. Ethereum has just lost some momentum, trading at 1600 once again. So let's see what's going to happen for near. First things first, let's refresh ourselves. What is near? Revolutionary, simple. We put usability first in our mission to change the world with Web3. Easy to use for everyone, code like it's Web2. Um, so really, really nice protocol here low cost high speed through better scaling technology frictionless onboarding for users and developers we can see look at the transaction cost is minuscule 0.01 usd 18 million plus active accounts 400,000 daily transactions and the finality time is of course really really quick which is good low energy footprint that's also very important for crypto right now as it's been stamped with negativity around its carbon footprint and we can see it's also carbon neutral as well backed by the best two near protocol certainly has paved its way to rank 25 and it's holding that position simply because it deserves to be there so let's have a look at the analysis what's going on we're sitting on the weekly time frame here and i think what this sort of phase reminds me of is actually it's probably the summer lows of 2021 uh well we had our first major wyckoff distribution so it really does remind me of being back here the sort of current price levels that we do have for our friend near protocol this it's kind of similar to, in my opinion, um, what we're seeing right now. We're trading in another low, following a huge pump. So we can see the last time we came down from this top down here, we lost 80% of valuation. This time here from this actual top to bottom is probably going to be more, about 85% valuation. So you can see it's a similar macro correction. We have a similar setup on the RSI when we actually have a look down below on the weekly. It tells a very big story. We can see on the weekly RSI, we were about 41 and at the moment we did come down to 41, but we actually had a low of 36 on the RSI. So again, we're in these extreme fear market sentiment or environments. And of course you always look to take profits at the top when the RSI is looking overbought, the market is euphoric, overextended and greedy. So I am looking at this horizontal channel that we have right now, and we're a bit of an ascending channel really as we put through lower highs and higher highs. I'm comparing these two because I think they are quite similar in the fact that this is a distribution. This is a big distribution where we have this capitulation in price. Now, this time here, we saw a massive pump to the upside. I don't think we'll imitate that, um, but I do speculate that we can still get at least a nice pump from these current levels to around the resistances in this bear market. First target around 57% back to the top of that channel. The second target will take us up to about $7.45. Uh, the next target for me is gonna be up here around about that $13 price level, which would offer 247% increase. Now, I don't think we're gonna get an all-time high. We're, we're just simply in a bear market. There's too many macroeconomical externalities that are just affecting and suppressing a bull run right now. So it's just not gonna happen in my opinion. But I do think this current price that we're trading at it does have good opportunity. We can see we had two weekly green candles. We got rejected at the resistance of $6.16. Looking at the 20-day moving average on the weekly time frame, we can also see that we've not yet tried to retest it. So I do think we'll pave our way back up to this 20-day moving average and near could be potentially a good buy at these levels. If we look at the daily time frame, again, we are paving our way to that 20-day moving average. We got rejected here, came back through the 20-day EMA. Bollinger Bands is showing that we're quite close to the bottom of the ribbon, which is usually a good time to start accumulating not financial advice of course so right now i'm seeing a bit of a an ascending channel rising wedge setup here i think it's more of an ascending channel to be honest within an ascending channel which is typically quite bullish so if we look at the smaller time frames we'll be able to see that the last few days has been fantastic for near protocol look at this beautiful looking ascending channel we printed eight green candles and just one red within it a doji style candle which reflects equal buying and selling pressure so 
I'm quite keen to see what might happen next here for our friend near protocol on this particular time frame. If we can see the continuation and get a nice breakout to the upside, I expect we will come through the resistance level of around about the $4.44, we'll retest, maybe break through. If we get rejected, of course, we'll see continuation to the downside. There is also the possibility we lose the support of this ascending channel at the $4.07 level, where we might see a bit of continuation to the downside. You know, just a small rejection, retest, and then momentum back down to like $3.40. Now, that's probably not really going to happen now because we do have some supports to look at previously. We've got this one now. We have also written in this support here, which is important. So we do have the support level of $3.56 and also $3.70 to look at first. If we get a collapse from this rising wedge ascending channel setup, I think maybe we just come down to the $4 level. Realistically, that's where we're likely to find a bit of support. And then maybe we see some continuation to the upside traveling back to that $4.40 for level. So the Fibonacci retracement shows you key areas of support where you're likely to get a bounce upon falling out of a bullish chart pattern or losing the support. So you're losing momentum, you're losing that price structure. So right now I don't think that's gonna happen. It's possible of course, but it's looking really bullish. It just takes Bitcoin to do one little big pump right now. And we're gonna see this thing fly to $4.43. Um, of course, recently we have been trading at those $4.40 levels and we have already been just recently up to $6 so it's very very true that we might see a reversal we had a reversal similar just like this where we pump back up 24% and if we were to get a pump from here I mean so far it's been a 12% if we were to come up again to this resistance you're looking at 19% of course expect rejections around this resistance level is a bear market we might fold at $4.42 it's hard to say. We've already been oversold on the RSI on the four hour time frame a few times. And in my opinion, the oversold positions are the best areas to buy because if you bought here in this oversold RSI, if you bought in this oversold RSI here, you'd be in profit. If you bought this oversold RSI here and this oversold RSI here, there's four opportunities where you'd be in profit. So always use that four hour time frame to really try and identify these key value opportunities in the market i think that was really helpful so what i think will happen for near protocol in the next few days i think we'll chop between the three dollar 69 level and the four dollar 43 level if we can see continuation break out this ascending channel definitely going to retest four dollars 43 and then potentially break out to the upside as we've tried to break through this resistance a lot of times as you can see so we would get that continuation absolutely if we go full for the bearish opportunity or the situation we're going to come down to $3.70, maybe even retest the $3.54, and at worst, $3.39. I think for the remainder of 2022, I'd like to see near protocol retest that $6.46 price level. And once we do, we can start looking at the next sort of targets. I think realistically, $6.82 and $9.80. 20 are probably good areas to be looking at for this year. Of course, we've got a lot of resistance around here as well at this $6.12 level again because of this capitulation wick from the 29th of November 2021. So there's lots of things to consider. I just personally see this as a reaccumulation phase. We don't need to expect any rallies right now. We're just simply adding to the bags in preparation for the next huge pump. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, look at my Discord down below, and also check out the $100,000 Tamadoji giveaway. We're going to now move away from near protocol, just look at a bit of Bitcoin and what's going on. Bitcoin, Ethereum drop as traditional markets skid into a new week. Several cryptos fall 3% on Sunday, revisiting lows not seen in more than a month. It's not necessarily a bad thing, to be honest. So, I suppose what it's happening is because we're still so connected to the S&P 500 and other sort of stocks we can see. Look at this, the US futures markets, Dow is down, SPX down, NASDAQ is down, Russell's down, FANG is down. So a lot of things are pretty much just down. And I mean, look at this right here, the equity index futures all down as well. So as a result, we're seeing crypto markets also unfortunately get dragged down with this bad news, I suppose. So that's what's going on. Bitcoin at the moment, well, I am actually anticipating that we might get a bullish reversal here up to around about the 23K levels. So I'm waiting for a retest. Let me just draw that again, because that was some ugly lines. Let's have a look. So about 23.5K is where I'm anticipating a potential price rally. And we'll probably just see a rejection once we do get there because there's a massive level of resistance, right? And we are in a bear market. Most bearish situation. I mean, I wouldn't even call it a situation. I call it a situation because 
yeah, it's not going to look good. If we lose the support here at 19.9k, then we might see continuation down to like the other support of 17.5k again. And it's even possible that we can come down to 13.7k, guys. Let's not rule these things out. Cryptocurrency can be absolutely crazy. So in my opinion, when we lost this symmetrical triangle, of course, we saw that big, big daily red candle. But hopefully this oversold position that we just saw for Bitcoin here on the 28th of August is the bottom and it does mark the bottom for now fingers crossed that we can see a bit of continuation i am targeting 23.6k over the next few weeks what about you guys let me know in the comments what you're buying are you looking at crypto today um you know do you feel bullish do you feel bearish i'd love to know your thoughts ladies and gents get yourself into the discord channel the number one discord channel where you can get yourself basically free advice you can find some trading signals you've got a lovely community of over 300 people to enjoy the crypto world with also get into my telegram in the description and check out tamadoge i'm invested in tamadoge i'm not gonna lie three thousand three hundred dollars deep but i am super bullish and you know the last preset we looked at did a very very nice 700 percent increase so i'm always prospecting the markets for these lucrative opportunities in cryptocurrency of course high risk high reward and i don't condone or putting all your money into these sort of projects but i do think it's good to diversify with cryptocurrency and maybe just put a, a couple percent of your you know working capital for me i like to usually use five to ten percent of my liquid net worth into these low market cap projects so you don't have to do what i do but make sure you do say hi in discord i think that's really nice and that's the only place i'm gonna probably actually reply to any of your major questions because there's too many scammers and imitators here and it's enough for me for now guys make sure you do subscribe to the channel logarithmic chart here we're looking pretty undervalued still for bitcoin i mean look at that time to paint the bags guys see you later